The Goodyear Duratrack has been there for over a decade. And despite being marketed as all-terrain, some people still considered them mud tires, where they actually just lie in between. That's why they are just hybrid tires, having a mixture of both. In fact, they started the whole hybrid thing back in 2009. Now let's see what kind of mixture they have and how they perform against the famous BFG KO2. Let's start off with their design. Hybrid tires basically have the shoulders of a mud tire while their middle stays all terrain. And so with Goodyear Duratrack, you see compact central blocks compared to its wider sides. It has sharp shoulder blocks and together they look like a deformed semicircle. And besides having sharper outer edges, they are also staggered where you can see a scoop on one of its blocks. Other than this, you can see those blocks have 3D wave-like siping and are pre-built for studs. You can install 16 of these studs, but note that they only come in the LT sizes. But the most unusual thing to note about its design was to see that even with those big gaps in Duratrack's shoulder blocks, there are no designated stone injectors. Where in BFG KO2, they are very prominent and are placed on the outer margins. Speaking of other dissimilarities, the BFG KO2 also has rectilinear siping, where it's wave-like in Duratrack. And although both tires have serrated shoulders, the bigger scoop in KO2 is more prominent. Both tires also feature very different sidewall design as well. In KO2, you see the slanted sidewall lugs are pasted on a larger surface area. And in Duratrack, although these lugs cover smaller area, they are still bulkier in comparison. Moving towards their middle, the Goodyear Duratrack again features a more open thread design, which is contained in a wide circumferential zigzag rings, giving it a very aggressive look. Here, you can see square-shaped blocks of different sizes. They are angled, have sharp edges, and are equipped with wave-like siping, just like its shoulder blocks. But the most highlighting characteristic of Duratrack's design is its tractive groove technology, where the tire features a mini version of thread blocks which are strategically placed in those wider grooves. They break down the accumulated dirt further and maintains the tire grip even when deep in mud or snow. On the flip side, the central area of BFG KO2 does not offer wide enough grooves to place mini thread blocks, but they again show up with stone injectors missing in Duratrack. The previous version of BFG KO2 had a tendency to pick up small rocks and they would bury themselves in the tire, damaging the thread. But now with triangular numbs, the thread is able to eject these stones or other debris that would otherwise lodge in between. Overall, the KO2 features compact design with hook-shaped blocks which are arranged in an interlocking fashion. And all these blocks also have sharp biting edges along with rectilinear siping. These sides are also deeper when compared to Duratrack. They go all the way deep down to its thread space, dividing these blocks further so they can wiggle or squirm according to the surface they're on. If we talk about how they are on road, both tires show remarkable performance. But if we consider the aggressive design of Duratrack, it's really amazing to see how great these tires are on wet roads. The BFG KO2 on the other side could use some wet traction. The tire has stiffer sidewalls and on wet conditions it tends to slip more in comparison. KO2 is also equipped with dual compound and once the initial softer rubber wears off, the stiffer compound makes the wet traction worse. But if we factor in all the other things, the BFG KO2 is still better suited for on roads. The tire's compactness allows it to have superior grip while its consistent middle pattern make these tires very quiet and comfortable on road. Duratrack with its wider grooves are although quieter than mud tires, they are still very loud compared to all three. 
especially the ones with low E ratings. They also tend to get louder with wear, but you can minimize this if you rotate these tires frequently. If we talk about off-road, both tires again give out an unexpected punch. In snow, despite having numerous sides like a dedicated winter tire, they are both branded with Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rating. In puffy dry snow, the KO2 works like a jar. With its angled cuts and deep sides that trap the snow, the tire gives out amazing traction values. Basically, snowflakes have an interlocking design, so here the trapped snow sticks better on snow, maintaining the friction needed. But in heavy snow, the tire struggles a little bit, and that's where the Goodyear Duratrack comes in. Besides being pre-installed for studs, the Goodyear Duratrack's alternating shoulder blocks make a wider path for snow to pass through while its sharp edges and wave-like siping everywhere bite down into the surface of the snow. And under same principle, the tire comes out better in mud traction as well. The wild grooves of the tire accumulate more mud and the mini thread blocks, which they call the tractive groove technology, break down the mud further as it passes through its channels. So even if you are going through aggressive trains, the tire would still not lose its grip. On the other side, the BFG KO2 cannot take on as much mud, and they would simply get packed. But the staggered shoulders and the angled sidewall lugs still make this tire a worthy opponent. They scoop the mud out of its way while the notches slash through the muddy surface. Both tires also offer very unique features when it comes to rocky terrain as well. In case of Duratrack, besides having numerous biting edges and wider grooves which clamp the surface of the rocks, the tire also provides you with softer material. So with this softer compound, the tire provides a sticky effect with the rocks and is better able to soak up the bumps. But without stone injectors, the tires still feel a bit jittery, especially on gravel. On the other side, the KO2 offers two different kind of stone injectors that expel out the debris as they move forward. So they offer great performance on gravel even on high speeds. They also provide you with more durable inner construction, having 3-ply polyester casing instead of two we see in Duratrack. So this means that the sidewalls of KO2 offer more puncture resistance in comparison as well. Nonetheless, both tires offer you with cut-resistant rubber and they work great even under low pressure as they both also provide you with rim locks. So what's the verdict? Well, if you are confused and stuck between a mud train tire and an all train tire, or in other words, you need the aggressive design of a mud tire without compromising too much on-road comfort then the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack is made for you. The tires are slightly noisy, but it's really a small price to pay considering how incredible they are off-road. On the other hand, if you want a more on-road oriented tire, which is also aggressive enough to take you off-road, you can never go wrong with the BFG KO2. These durable tires are simply the best of both worlds and you would also save a few bucks if you go with them. Do tell in the comments which tire do you want us to compare next. And please make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so and visit comparethetire.com to check out more about these tires. Till next time.